Hey guys, um, so we've been learning about Dada and Marcel Duchamp. Um, this is, of course, Bicycle Wheel, um, which is one of Duchamp's uh, assisted ready-made sculptures. Um, so Duchamp, of course, took a regular old bicycle wheel and a regular old stool and put them together. Um, he took them out of their the context of their everyday use as objects um, in everyday life and he assembled them and put them in a muse museum titling them bicycle wheel um, the the artist has put them in a place um, so that we would understand them as a sculpture instead of utilitarian objects um, so you guys are going to be making your own ready-made uh, you will be creating this from objects from your house um, I am going to suggest that you make, you make, you photograph it in a way that almost recreates something like being in a gallery. So, uh, blank white walls, um, you could even print out a label with a title for your artwork. I did for mine. Um, in order for this to work, um, we have to see... I guess we have to understand that this is, um, you know, uh, objects that are being transported from their realm of everyday use into the world of the gallery. So you are creating that gallery in your own space. All right. So I'm going to show you what I've made over here on the other side of the room. Okay. So here's my little gallery set up um, in my studio. Um, so I happen to have a pedestal at home so I used a pedestal I thought that would make it feel even more like a gallery if I had the time I would probably go ahead and paint it white uh, to make it feel even more like just kind of a uh, something that you would see in a gallery space oh gosh can you imagine if I had a vitrine to go over it my goodness it would really look like a real sculpture um, so you can see in my my little gallery wall here is made up of a piece of white fo uh, foam board but, you know, feel free to use an actual wall. Um, I've printed off a label. Maybe you guys have access to a printer, but maybe you don't. Um, I tried to research um, actual gallery labels and see what they looked like. Um, most often, um, what you see is something like this. So you'll see the artist's name. Here's my name. And it gives their birth date. B dot, you know, I was born in 1980. Um, I gave it a title. Um, you can see that I italicized the title. Um, there's a comma after the title and it gives the date that it was made. It was made in 2021. And then after that, I have the uh, things that the artwork is made up out of. You might see if, if this was a painting, you know, acrylic on canvas or something, but this is a ready-made sculpture composed of 42 paper towels, an orange and a cotton face mask. All right. So, um, that is my label. Uh, the title of it is For Your Health. And so, I guess I was like Duchamp. Um, I guess I'm thinking of more of, um, in advance of a broken arm, uh, the, the shovel piece that Duchamp made. And the, um, the idea that Duchamp was using a, a title that was sort of provocative, that made us think of something outside of the work of art. Um, so I wanted to call it For Your Health. Um, I like that it sort of looks like a little, you know, especially if you kind of arrange the little straps of the mask, it kind of looks like a little person. I like that about it. Um, but, you know, there's this idea that oranges are healthy and also we've had to wear these masks for our health. So I kind of wanted to create something that would feel like a sculpture um, with some of these objects. Um, I thought, you know, one of the things I thought of is like, what would make a sculpture you would never expect to see? And I thought one thing, you know, I, I would not expect to see like a sculpture that had something in it, like a real orange that would go bad. So I thought that that would make it more absurd, more ridiculous to have something like the orange that would go bad and couldn't possibly last in a museum. Um, maybe, you know, um, like Duchamp, you know, when this orange wears out, I could just replace it with another orange. 
Or maybe part of looking at this work would be looking at the orange like rot over time. I don't know. Um, this, <laughs> this piece has literally just been born, so ha I haven't decided um, how I want to, to, it to end yet. So anyway, here is my, um, my uh, assisted ready-made. Again, an assisted ready-made, you know, is a combination of several objects. Um, putting them together um, in a celebration of absurdity, I think is really, you know, what Duchamp wanted from, you know, these assisted ready-mades. He was really trying to push the envelope on what could be accepted within the institution of a, a gallery or museum, what could be accepted as a work of sculpture. Does it become a sculpture because I put a label next to it? You know, I think Duchamp would have been, you know, tickled uh, that people had to, you know, think about it and, and consider whether or not they were really looking at you know, a work of art or something that someone had accidentally sat down when they went into another room, you know? Um, anyway, uh, you guys are going to be making your own, um, assisted ready-mades, um, and you are going to be sharing them in class.